Okay, so if you watched any of my Eurovision initial reactions, you know that Croatia was my number one for a while. And then it was uh, displaced by Macedonia's um, Proud. So, at least for, just, for 2019, I'm talking. Um, now, uh, obviously, I think a lot of people have wanted... I don't know if he's going to perform... Because it seems like people can also perform different variations of songs at Eurovision finals and whatnot. But I don't know if he's going to perform the full Croatian version um, at the final... Or the semi-final, rather, because we're not, we're not yet at the final. Uh, the semi-final or not. I don't know if this... And this is the official video for the dream. So I'm assuming this is the official video for the English Croatian version, not the full Croatian version. I would, however, still like to see an official video for um, the Croatian version. Anyway, let's watch this. I wonder if we're gonna have more angel imagery in this video. Um, because let's see, let's see, let's see what it's. Oi, oi, let's see what it's about. Thank you. Gosh, gosh. Oh, and apologies in advance, in case there's any noise in the background, there's construction going on, and I'm not closing the windows because I'm hot. Thanks, bye. Underwater. Maybe? I have a dream. A dream as beautiful as it is extreme. I know it's not as crazy as it may seem. So I don't ever wanna give up on this dream. Work of art. We have lived the darkest night, waiting for the days. Now the time. Okay, so we had a twister, and I'm gonna be pausing because it's not about song. We already know song. The video. They had a twister, then we had like will also be war. At first, I was like, oh, is he underground, underwater? But this seems more maybe like a bunker. And then you have like light peering through here and there. Like a, a, it's a dark, it looks damp, <laughs> like a dark area. Why is he in all white? I'm not sure. Hmm. For us is right to like if I'm in a dark, presumably subterranean place, I'm not wearing white and getting my clothes dirty. What do you, what is that about? Okay, so obviously we had the the twister and the lightning, but now we're going more, we're leaning more on the war conflict imagery of like explosions and burning. So like a hopeful. Is that what I don't know if that's what the the song was supposed to be talking about from Jump because that was not necessarily something you got from. Either version of the song, I feel. But maybe the video is trying to set a new tone, trying to reframe the song in a different light. I don't know. Don't look at the camera. I will say that trying to reframe the song because it didn't necessarily feel from the initial performance that it was say about conflict and hope after conflict. Um, I will say that trying to reframe it to, to make make it seem like a a hopeful song after conflict of of um, fatalistic uh, proportions, I think works for it. I don't think all of the video is helping that reframing. I think. The overdramatic turns and um, are a bit much. I think him still being dressed in all white, especially that leather jacket, play leather jacket, whatever, doesn't necessarily help. But okay, so now we're back to like nature 
visuals. We're back to like... Was that like a volcano and then thunder? Like, what? So, acts of God? Acts of nature? I just, I don't feel like flooding and hurricanes and volcanoes are on the same level as war. They're both destructive, obviously, but you can work around if you have enough time, if you have enough foresight and knowledge and the resources to work around it. You can work around a flood. You can work around um, a tornado. You know, people have insurance and live in different areas for those same reasons. You can't really... Like a war is something that... I don't feel like... I don't know. I don't know. They're not... So then, I know what maybe it was like homelessness or something. So obviously, this the lyrics. I'm looking back at the lyrics again to try and see where this. Okay, I mean the lyrics are. Okay, you know there's a lot of love and. Mm, I guess the lyrics. I, I just feel like the visuals don't necessarily like. They're broad. They're broad. Um. I get it. There's a lot of conflict, but I don't know that it helps super much. But thanks for watching anyway. Um, and if you have other thoughts or another interpretation of this song, please let me know. We can have a discourse in the comments. But I don't think that video... I think the reframe... If you had said, let's reframe it to a specific thing, but you were going back and forth between like uh, natural disasters and uh, you know... Man, uh, man made man -made conflicts and then like social issues like okay I, I get it you are hoping for a way out of your current situation okay but then we should have seen more people in those situations maybe but then uh, maybe that also is a, like, a bit like disaster porn I don't know I don't know so maybe that, that was a better choice to not have that type of thing like oh let's not have people suffering but then you have people at the end regardless I don't know I don't know um we could have gone more with the the underground bunker, because that's what it seems like to me—an underground bunker with all the steps and the dark and the light peering through, and on cue the contrition noise. So thank you for watching, and until next time, yeah.